spoiler alert. We're, just, we're talking some stuff about Stranger Things right now. We're not going to ruin any plot points though. Yeah. But if you're, you're all a musician, stay tuned. Click like, subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. It's very important. And season four of Stranger Things finale has some of the greatest hard rock moments on fictional TV history, we think. Some might even say metal. It is, it's one of the most metal sort of moments on like a pop culture phenomenon TV show that we think moments like these, and we sort of look back at some other ones, and we'll talk about them. It, it, affects, it, it affects and changes the sort of the little mini world of musicians out there. Well, I think it inspires people. I think it inspires new musicians. I think it gets people excited. People who maybe were thinking about giving up or maybe they don't play or they haven't played in a while or maybe they were going to play. That's the thing that pushes them over the edge. I, I see that with students all the time, right? Like, kid doesn't practice. I'm like, eh, this is, this is not going well. They see something like this and then suddenly they're into it. They come in, they've learned songs and they're, they just skyrocket. It doesn't you know? matter if you like metal, if you like Metallica. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, we're not going to mention the character's name. But he's one of the coolest characters in the whole season. Um, there's a moment in the season finale where, I think it's episode nine, where Master Puppets is performed in all of its glory. And he learned it pretty darn good, too, as far as the fingering. It look, I mean, as far as someone miming guitar on the screen, it was one of the better looking ones, I thought. And it, yeah. and it was a truly metal moment. Yes. It's, it's really fun. There's demon bats and, like, you know, hell fire, like, light in the sky. And I mean, it could have been a meatloaf video, to it, be fair. It could have been anything Iron Maiden fantasies. Like, it's like, everything about, like, that. It was, it was great. Like, I remember when that finale ended, too. Like, that, that moment, I clapped. And then when the whole show ended in that season, and I actually clapped, too. Like, but I'm sitting there watching it with my wife on our couch in our, in our living room. It's like the old heavy metal cartoon kind yeah. of life. Yes. It reminds me of being a child and going to the laundromat with my mother. And they had all these weird, like, heavy metal, like, with scantily clad, like, you know, people, uh, pinball machines. And yes. Pro probably, yes. probably not amazingly appropriate. No, for, no like, completely you know, inappropriate. Seven, eight year old Jonathan, but. Fascinated nonetheless. But it entered you into your, your sexual <laughs> desires. Right. It's like, why is this young. cool? Like, Chris, yeah, you know, this, leather, this leather bra for <laughs> right. me for a minute. Why? Don't worry about it. It's just, you know. Can we go do the laundry at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Turn on the washing machine. <laughs> oh. I'm in Nirvana. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just, that got a little inappropriate. Uh. Sorry. We should have warned you about that as well. Jeez Louise. That was bad. Um, but no, it's, it, the, there are moments like this. And it just... It is. They, they, I hope that this becomes that. Because like Kate Bush has already exploded. Yeah. Again, like 30 whatever years ago, like her song, Running Up the Hill, I think is what's that, the name of it. I can't Something remember. Something like that. But it's, um, I, her streams have exploded. TikTok's blown up. Memes, everything. It's, and it's a great song. She's an indie artist as well. So she owns everything about Which that. Which is cool. She makes all the royalties. It's like a quarter million a week at one point when it was like booming. It's just fun that people would rediscover something like that, right? And that it, it pushed it into relevance again. Pretty, pretty uh, awesome. Well, it's just, it, and that was like an inspiration on a separate note. We'll get yeah. back to our topic. Just like, it's something you do today. It might not pay off, but let's say you're in a band, you're doing stuff and you, it might be 20 years, it might be 10 years, it might be 30 years later. Never know. And then like, you, that's like a family's nest egg on that money yeah. she's making right now on that. And, you know, and I've, I've actually always liked Kate Bush, which is funny. I remember when she came out, it's like this weird little British creature that makes cool, weird songs. That was a long time ago. I'm so old. But um, no, the, back, to, back to our man and his metal. It was epic. It was pretty. It was epic. Pretty darn epic. Um, you know, it, things like that as a guitar player just makes you excited. When's the last time you saw one that you were, you were pretty excited? You got excited on like a TV thing. Well, yeah, let, let's bounce back then. So like, before I say farewell to this and like... Thing. I almost said his name, the characters, I won't. You, If you're smart enough, you'll figure out who's going to do it. But I mean, yeah. I mean, it was, There's foreshadowing. <laughs> lots of it. Yeah. But it's so ugh, it's so good. And I'm not going to tell you what it does or why they're doing it. It's just, it's just awesome. And it, it, it's, just, it's rare to see something like that. I'm going to jump back. Completely different genre. But I think Glee, the TV series, transformed like America and the world's love with like acapella. Yeah. Like it, you know, like... It, Pitch Perfect, you know, and Glee sort of living in that same world, like with the cup song, every girl that age is trying to do that. <laughs> That's true. And like I'm watching cups and ping pong balls and whatever falling off. It's an early way to learn how to do pong and um, beer pong. 
So it translates into that. My wife won a beer pong set of cups and ping pong balls at some contest the other day. There that you go. It was really funny. Um, I think Glee, Glee was... Hours of family fun. Were you a big Glee fan? I, I watched Glee for a while, sadly. <laughs> Weird. I know. I, I, was, I, don't know. I was a huge Glee fan. But because they're doing cool songs. You know what I mean? It was fun. And and people... And at the time, I was teaching guitar, obviously. And uh, it it changed the songs kids would come in and ask to learn. It did. You, you can gauge culture and what's happening by the songs that kids ask you to play. That is really funny. Guitar. Well, and I remember I liked it so much, and I, I was so inspired by like seeing kids get excited. Like I, I, I created a Glee class at one of the local high schools that didn't have a music program. And I just went out there and just taught it for free, and had a lot of fun with it, and um, got to see everything from the Killers to Gundam Style with this group of like high schools that had there's no music program, and it was so much fun. So watching, and we did dance. I did like Define Gravity from Wicked. And I made the kids hold hands. It was Addison and Danielle. I remember that. Yeah, I wanted them to kiss, but I guess that was not, I guess I can't tell kids to kiss. That was then so appropriate. Just like, <laughs> yeah, the, just like the TV show, really, too. But a uh, great musical. I think, I think Glee um, was a big one. What about you? You got another one? Let's go I remember, further. I remember when they did that, uh, the big special. It was like 50th anniversary or something for the Beatles. And it was all these artist mashups doing Beatles yep. covers. And it was just the night of it. And it was just, it was so good. It was so well done. I remember like the John Mayer or and like Keith Urban doing a tune. And there's like an amazing Ed Sheeran performance. And it was just fantastic. You know, you had Joe Walsh Was that Walsh the one where Prince played? No. That's the different one. The Prince and Tom Petty thing. That was, Keith that was the, played. that's a good one too. That was the thing for um, uh, George Harrison, right? Okay. And it was his son was on there and they do, Prince comes out and crushes while my guitar gently weeps. But yeah, that whole show was was pretty amazing. I look at those sort of live in that world of like Live Aid and yeah. things like the live concert events that were televised that, and that's almost a separate thing, but not really. It's still, it still is a game changer because I, I remember watching as a kid Live Aid yeah. and being like, who is this band? Like, I didn't really know who Queen was. I was like, these, who are these grown men that just are slaying it and why is his chest hair so vehemently awesome? Um, yeah, that that... That like changed me, but then let's go back even further in television, like just like sort of like live action television, Hee Haw. Oh, I was gonna say, I feel like it used to be more of a thing, right? You'd have these musical shows because you'd have Hee Haw and you'd have somebody like Roy Clark just destroying it. And I can remember my grandparents watching it, and I didn't even realize how amazing the music being played I, was. I don't think anybody realized how good it was because well, they made it so con like there was a comedy that was part of that sort of country, bluegrassy kind of music. But I mean, you there's a clip that goes around, uh. Instagram or Reels or TikTok or whatever that's uh it's Roy Clark I think it's like the Honeymooners and he sits down and plays this crazy like tremolo picks like classical guitar yep. thing <laughs> like you know and he's doing that live in the studio he's I mean it's insane the, yeah. Roy Clark was such a phenomenal guitar player it's it, and you don't he was so good it was kind of like Les Paul yeah. you don't really realize how good they were unless you actually listen to it go back and, and like, really take it apart a little bit yeah. but Roy Clark he was such a brilliant character and a great actor and like his it's just his just timing everything was perfect i look at him like just him and burt reynolds because that's who i want to hang that's out with amazing. in heaven one day it's like hey roy hey burt it's like, it's like just keep growing that stash that's oh, yeah. all you gotta do oh man so i i <laughs> my shave i do i do horrible like facial hair experiments sure. just to upset my wife like this one i got because like I, I shaved my little beard off the other day and then just but then i was like oh this is still here so i just buzzed it a bit to where it's nice and tight just a, a nice tight stash. <laughs> it's just a fun you know when you're when you have a significant other that that's stuck with you. I was gonna say they're 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 captive essentially. Yeah, you can't like, go anywhere. Do whatever you, you know. want. Yeah. They can like hold out physical activities with you, but you know whatever. Been around long enough. I don't like care you're about doing those. physical activities. I know that's like, that's a thing <laughs> of the past. That's like that's week one of marriage. That's over after that. The reality sets in. It's a cute meme like around on the internet too. Like it's like oh like you know after year ten of marriage like hey honey you want to make out and then she looks like like it was like a thirty second toot and then the guy's like right, so you ready? <laughs> still doesn't affect us. We don't care. We're still good to go. Dead, um, dead man anymore. Yeah, no, but um yeah it's, it's there. There are these weird moments like Roy Clark was almost like it was subversive. Yeah, because snuck in like this one on. I almost said his name again on Stranger Things. Like when he when it's it was like ah shining it, moment and like you don't really know it's coming. No, like it's because it's not like I mean it's been talked about on the internet now because this this has been out on TV for a few weeks obviously. Right, but it's 
it is one of those like aha moments. I, I, I would love to hear more of your moments, like big, like sort of fictional TV moments. Yeah. There, we, there's a few we're sort of saying. I want to hear if you guys pull them up, but um, that you thought of, that like it is. It's could be in a movie. It could be know. Fame, the TV show from the '80s. I was thinking I'm of thinking of one. Forever. A, a time traveling escapade. I think it was a good guitar moment for lots of folks. Okay, you gotta give it to me. Oh wait, wait, oh yeah, yep. the 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 biggest one, of the biggest ones. God, Even like, though the guitar didn't exist then, blah 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 blah, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, whatever. God, it's funny. That was totally. It doesn't matter. No. You think about it, like all the bands they had, like on, you know, there's been bands like South Park of the Simpsons. Yep. Kind of fun. Moments. The commitments. There you go. That whole movie. But um, just share your own thoughts and ideas. We certainly loved this one. This was a good one. And I will. You know, you might not know this character's name. Hopefully, I don't know if we we're allowed to steal clips and put them in there, but you know, it's still pretty awesome. Yeah. We can do stills. We can't do. The, we can't play the music. Yeah, it's true. It's weird copyright things. They did have the thing where it was like a, I think it's Metallica like duetting with yes. it on the screen, which is kind of. Funny. I've watched. I've watched all that. I think it's great. It's, yeah, it's fun. It's awesome. Enjoy. If you haven't watched Stranger Things and you don't care about Stranger Things, just watch that clip. Yeah, find it on YouTube. It's true. Or just go go watch the. But I mean, you should just watch Stranger Things. It's it's really enjoyable. I enjoy and they're it. gonna wrap it up at season five. It's almost over, and they're gonna have a spinoff series by the the Duffer Brothers. You're gonna watch that. There won't be the showrunners at that point, and there's gonna be a stage play Dude. put together as well. Stranger Things and stage play. If you wanted to go see a cute little Cinderella play, or you want to give your kids nightmares, whatever. Stranger Things, it is upside down. That's what I would do. Yeah. Gosh, it's the right choice. Point of getting the weird theories there. We're leaving that alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Thanks for joining us. We shall see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Happy day. Yay.